Now at 504, police are stepping up patrols right outside Farmington High School after a student brought a gun to campus. District leaders held a meeting about this incident last night in part because of the uptick in school threats all over the state. Eyewitnesses reporter Roger Susanna is live in Farmington this morning. Roger, what are families being told this morning? Yeah, good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. And that is the key question this morning because obviously a lot of families are unsettled by these recent incidents, but police are trying to stress to students, especially, that they don't have anything specific to worry about. Remember, none of these incidents or threats across the state have led to actual violence, but at the same time, students are being told that if they notice anything out of the ordinary, certainly to speak up and let folks know about that and let law enforcement know. Now, last night, Farmington school leaders held a school safety meeting with local families to try and calm their nerves after really an unsettling several days here. Last week, a Farmington High School student told police that one of their classmates had brought a gun to school on December 3rd. Investigators looked into it and later arrested a 14-year-old student who is now in a juvenile detention facility facing several charges, including illegal possession of a firearm on school grounds. Last night, parents told district leaders that part of the reason that they're on edge is that there has really been an uptick in school threats around the state. We've been covering it extensively. Last month, police looked into what they deemed a non-credible threat here at Farmington High School, and students in Hamden, Seymour, and Ansonia, to name a few, have been arrested for making threats recently. Again, they've all been uncredible, according to police, but certainly still unsettling. Now, parents who spoke at last night's meeting say they're really stressing and hoping for more transparency. But police are stressing again to Farmington students that they have nothing specific to worry about. Again, none of these threats have been deemed credible. But investigators are still going to be stepping up patrols as a safety precaution here at Farmington High School. Reporting live in Farmington, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.